Hi, I'm Steve Maloff with Maloff Realty. I'm sitting beside Derek Sanchez. He's the owner of Mio Marcos Pito. He's also, is that your side job as a physical therapist or it's the other way around? <laughs> Hi, my name is Steve Maloff. I'm a, I'm a realtor and uh, this is Derek Sanchez right here, owner of Mio Marcos Pito. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice meeting you too, thank Pizza's you. Pizza's awesome. Great introduction. <laughs> All right, so I want to talk to you a little bit about yeah. a couple of things. One, you're a physical therapist. Yeah, doctor right? physical doctor therapy. Physical therapy yeah. right. Spine and, and so, joint guy. So that means you do pizza because you love pizza. You have a passion for pizza. It's not like, you know, I just I have a, a job as a Yeah, I started running pizza a restaurant. Yeah. as a passion, right? I started, I started pizza as a memory from a childhood great pizza that I wanted and turned it into a passion, and now we have Mia Marco's Pizza, yeah. Yeah, so I, I remember talking to you years ago, and you, you so, so there's similar. There's a chain with a similar name to it, but but where'd you get Mia Marcus? So yeah, we're not a chain restaurant. That's right. Marcos Pizzeria. We're Mia Marcos. I named it after my children, Mia, my daughter Mia, and my son Marco. So when we were trying to think of a name, we're like yeah, this is name it after the kids. And there's a lot of people that name their pizzeria after their kids. Oh, they do. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that, you know, I didn't know that, but hey, here never we are. Found, never found a Steve pizza. Here we are. <laughs> I can do it. We can do it. Yeah. yeah. But what, like my family would probably be Giros or something. Oh, that'd be cool. There's so many cool names. We, I mean, you know, but man, we are a, we're a family pizzeria. This is about my family. This truly is about my family. You know, about uh, ultimately about taking care of my daughter. My daughter has Down syndrome. Um, I want to build this place up so we can have a revenue for her the rest of her life. All right, so you're, you're a football guy, right? Yeah, I'm, I, you know, I, I thought I was. I mean, you know, everybody <laughs> well, okay. thinks they're good. So I want to be football I mean, Yeah, guys. I grew up like, in football. That yeah, was my sleep sport. And breathe. That was my sport. I'm coaching it now. I coach my son in football oh, now. Oh, really? So, Out here in church? Uh, we coach him. Uh, yeah, he's in New Braunfels right now. Oh, but, okay. Uh, I'm blessed enough to be able to coach him now, so it's a lot of fun. Man, I can I, have to, I didn't have any boys, man, so I can't live vicariously through yeah, that. Yeah, man, man but, it's a blast. I but I, for me, I don't know about you, but I, so I still equate, like, the way I approach things, the way I, I think in football minds. Oh, yeah. You know, like, if it's a longer process, I'm like, all right, first quarter, you know, halftime, third quarter, now I'm in the fourth quarter, you got to kick it up. Or, or we have a big game, so, you know, it's all this stuff behind the scenes that people don't see they just see like they see you making a pizza right oh, yeah. but how did you get to the point where you you're the you're rated number one in the state you're ranked nationally a world champion in vegas like at the pizza expo right. that's like that didn't happen by accident right and and then you think like we're just a small pizzeria like a small pizza shop but you're well at that time we nationally. were in a food truck right so we weren't even a pizza shop we were in a food truck doing that yeah, and I was I was uh, talking to Joey. Joey was saying, like the key is in the the, the dough for the most part, but right, also right. you know the portions and how you how you prep the you know the sure. toppings and the and the sauce. But but what would you say is the number one thing? So in the, the the dough, the the science behind what you put in the dough, and so I know you've traveled around the world, yeah, and met with like chefs and sure. tasted pizzas from all over the place sure. to try to find that exact you know, yeah. science to what you're going to put in your dough and how long you, you know, prep it to, for it to rise. Like, I don't know the whole science behind it, but. Yeah. I, if I tell you, you know how that story goes. Yeah. So. <laughs> you tell you how to kill me. <laughs> so, no, no, man. But, I, it is. So I think the interesting thing when you brought up football and you said, you know, you have to treat it like a football game or a football team. Um, you have to kind of, you know, what quarter you go to. I think the, the good thing about you and I growing up in sports and football, me not being this superstar player, I was pretty good, but I wasn't a superstar, you know, uh, is you get your butt knocked around. Yeah, yeah. And you really have to work to be good. There's some people that are super talented. Uh, they don't have to work as hard. But isn't it the fact, Steve, that the person who works the hardest always beats the talented person? Hey, you know what they say, what, uh, this is what I tell my girls. Talent, no. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. That's it. So um, I get in the pizza world. You know, and, and I have that really competitive philosophy. You stick me in a competition, I'm gonna find a way to win, man. And then, you know, we did it three times. And that, for a Texas team, 
it's, it's pretty good. I mean, I, I don't think there's it's a really Texas good. team San to win three times. Yeah. San Antonio. Um, and, you know, I mean, it was, it was cool, man. It's just, you know, of course, my belief is I did not do that. That's a gift, a blessing from the Lord. Uh, he blessed us with that. We just had to do our due diligence and then get out of the way, right? So uh, ultimately, pizza's damn good. That's it. It's just super good, man. Super you, know, you know, I think what always impressed me was you didn't have to do it. Like, you, you really have a passion about this. It's not yeah, just man. like, oh, yeah, I like pizza, but, you know, you, you have a successful medical practice, right? Yes. And then you come here. Yes. You know, like, I, like I've always told my girls, find something you really love doing and you'll never work another day in your life. Now that's nice in theory, right? But you still have to pay bills and, right. and whatever. And how many people really, really follow their passion? When I say that, like, you know, I, I did 20 years in the military, right? Right. Which, which I loved, I had no, I, I love it. But real estate, like I, it's the people, like, it's a people business, right? Oh, like, yeah. I, you know, I say sure it is. real estate is what we do. People are what we do. Real yeah. estate is how we do it. So, so I love it. I just, it never feels like work to me. Right. There's long hours, but you're dealing with people, right? Yeah. And so you, when you're, when you're prepping, when you're, you know, traveling to, to not competitions, but when you were initially putting all that together, test, mm. testing different oh, yeah. pizzas and, and, and meeting with, with different pizza makers, right? right? I don't know what you call them. Um, that was all, that had to have been just, you just loved it, huh? It was just like- It was cool, man. Just you sponging know, everything. I, I think uh, I'm, I'm very thirsty for truth and knowledge. I think you know that of yeah. me. I'm a truth seeker. So when I got into the pizza world, what intrigued me was there's so many people that act like they know what they're talking about that have no idea what they're talking about, right? And that, so that's intriguing to me in a way like... And that's in all walks. Yeah, in all walks of life, you know. But, but I would see, you know, they're using old grandma recipes and they're doing what tradition has shown them to do. And I have, I guess I had the advantage, man, of my background in research um, to look at it in a different light, look at it in a more scientific way. Right, so I got what they said and then I would test it and then I would formulate my process in a scientific manner. You know, and I would study from some of the greatest bakers that the planet's ever seen by reading their books. I mean, I wasn't with them, but reading their books and putting what they've said to a test. And then we've come up with what we've come up with and then, uh, you know, invited into these contests and we say, you know, is it, to me it was a test. Like, is our pizza good enough to hang with these guys? We get in the first contest and we get sixth place out of a you know hundred and something people, right? And supposedly the best pizza makers in the world come home and say, "I think I can win that thing." And yeah. we went back and we started. Six winning. wasn't good enough, right? Well, you know, I mean, you yeah, would, yeah, you yeah, would yeah, do yeah. it too. Like, oh, I got sixth place. Let me go win it. If you think you have a chance to win this thing, you're gonna I'll go, back go and test five, four. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, what won it, right? Yeah, what yeah, style yeah. won it? You know, so we got into it like that. But now, man, we just here at home. Uh, we were making the same style pizza we win with, you know, I mean what you're getting out of that oven is, is what we win with man and um, We use the old process of fermentation to ferment our bread uh, People don't do that anymore. They throw sugar in their dough or they're using honey or whatever to speed up processes uh, The dough when you eat it is fermenting in your stomach ours is already fermented for you. So this old style tartine bread kind of ferment, right? Um, or old world styled sourdough, but not being sour, it's, it's just fermented the correct way. Uh, and we make our pizza on it. We, we outsource the best products, the cheese, the tomatoes. We search for that kind of thing. We search for people that uh, are passionate about their products, making their products, like we're passionate about making our pizza. So we just take that stuff and we put it on our pie, and man, you get some, you yeah, get some I, magic. I know, um, I know you, you won't hesitate to like if it doesn't, if it's not perfect, you'll throw it away, the dough? Oh yeah, man, we've, we've chunked, oh no, we've, we've thrown away a lot of dough before. We, we throw away products. I mean, um, I told Joey, and, I, and I'm blessed in a way that the, the product price doesn't matter to me. I'm blessed that way, you know. I'm like, get the best, period. Like, let's put the best on the pizza. We work so hard at making our dough, we don't wanna, you don't wanna buy a Ferrari, dude, and put like, uh, plastic wheels on it yeah, you know yeah. you want the best tires on it right so we work so hard at making our dough that we absolutely outsource we want to find the best products are 
and we all the research have done that. I mean, we traveled to tomato plants here and in Italy, uh, flower plants here and in Italy, you know, uh, where they grow our crops. Uh, we, you know, where they grow crops to put on our pizza. We've gone to some of those farms. So, um, yeah, man. Yeah, I know. I, I it's nerdy, dude, but it's that's the truth. That's what happened. No, nah, it's that's perfection. I mean, you're seeking perfection. So that's when I was telling or I was talking to Joey. I said the one thing that impressed me is when you when you work on your pizzas, you you can tell you're not you're not in an assembly line. You're not just trying to like get these pizzas out no. to a customer, but you like every you care about every pizza to make sure like this pizza this guy, you know, it's like Michael Jordan. Yeah. You know, Michael Jordan, he didn't take games off because he knew that guy was paying and he wanted to give him that, that hard working guy that saved up his money to see one game. Yeah. He wanted to give him a show. Like, and so when you, when you give a pizza, you're like, this, this may be the only time this guy comes out here. That's our, without, that's our card. You give a card and you have a video for online, yeah. our card is our pizza. But I want this guy to go, whoa. whoa yeah, what that's what we about? want. That's yeah. right. We, uh, some people complain like it's, you know, oh, I had to wait 35 minutes for the pizza, you know? And uh, I'm like, man, we're, we're good food. We're not fast food. And it takes us about four days to make your pizza, right? Yeah, if you so, it, yeah it really does. So um, we're prepping, we're getting ready for it, and then it goes out the window, right? Or it, go, it comes into the restaurant, right? So, um, yeah, man, we, we want everything done right when it, you know. But I think Joey said about 80% of your business probably take out. Yeah, before. right now, for sure, for sure. Um, our pizza stories, my pizza story is interesting. And I'll, before you ask, a lot of people say, you know, why pizza, Derek? What, why'd you get into it, man? And uh, it, I think it was a heart thing. It was a love thing for me. Uh, when I was growing up, I grew up on Northeast San Antonio, Northeast side San Antonio. I grew up at Fort Sam Houston. You know, I was a military kid, uh, dad in the military, 36 years. So um, there's a pizzeria at Windsor Park Mall, yeah. right? It was called Lucas Pizzeria. Lucas, yeah. Remember Lucas? It's right near the back door, by the cross from the theater. Underneath, right? that's it, right next to the yeah. arcade, right? Yeah. So, but that was really good pizza, and my parents knew those people, and or just they, you know, they spoke Italian. My mom was Italian, and they would go and have coffee and smoke cigarettes in the mall, you know. And, and I would get that slice of cheese and a coke, man. It was just amazing pizza, bro. Right? Love that pizza. So my father passed away and I moved to Three Rivers, Texas with my sister. And um, I, I lost that pizza. You know, of course I lost my dad. And then my mom moved back home to Italy for a while and stuff like that. So I lost my parents for a while, real tough time in my life. Uh, but always had grand memories of sitting there with my family eating that delicious pizza. It's big one slice. Oh, awesome, bro. And then, and then, you know, I got my car. The, my first trip when I bought my car was right back to Windsor Park oh. to go to Lucas. <laughs> I'm telling you, too, I wanted that pizza. And they were closed down. So ever since I was a child, a kid, not a child, 14, 15 years old, I guess you get my car at 15, um, I wanted that pizza. So everywhere I would travel, Steve, all over the world, or all, I would ask them to get a slice, and, get, and I could never find that pizza. So finally, man, I'm out in West Texas. I'm a physical therapy at this time. I'm out in West Texas. And uh, I ask, hey, man, you guys got good pizza around here. Well, you got to go to the Pizza Foundation. It's over in Marfa. And I'm like, okay. Everybody was really excited about this place, right? So I drive to Marfa. They had it in this old gas station, like an old Texaco gas station. They turn into a pizzeria. I go in and I get a slice of cheese and I take a bite. And I'm like, oh, here it is, man. Is it? This is so close to what I grew up with, right? And Marfa you know, I, I bought like three or four pizzas and I drove them home from Marfa, it's what, 12 hours away or so, something like that. And I, I give them to my wife and she's eating them. She's like, oh, this is incredible. And th I'm thinking in my head, I can't go to Marfa to get this pizza. I gotta make it here. So I started making it. Oh, that's where you started? That's when I started, man. So 2005. Man, that's a long drive, dude. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't drive to go get pizza ever, but I was doing contract work there, teaching other therapists how to do manual therapy for spine and joint, and then they had that pizzeria there. And I said, I'm gonna make this at home. So I started working at it, working at it, researching online. You know, uh, the internet was just really starting to kick on around 2004 or five, starting to research online, not a lot of information back then. So reading books, you know, doing it at the house, and I've made every single oven you can imagine. Uh, I've bought every single oven you can imagine. I used to have them in my garage, and you know, and here we are. 
it's come to this point. So Luca's was my favorite pizzeria growing up. Like I said, I moved away and uh, we're out here in the trailer one night working in a trailer. We won the first world championship and we get a tap on the window, you know, and it was an older gentleman. He goes, hey boys, let me have a slice of cheese. So, you know, we, we made him a pizza, cut him a slice of cheese. and Just took, cheese? Just cheese. Do you ever... And, and we know that's what a, a pizza guy loves, just cheese. That's me. I'll just... Cheese. Okay, so I was going to say, is that for you, is that like what? You're, you're it's insulting like, me. It's let like me put language else, between like, pizza people. Like, I'm okay, a pizza gotcha. dude. Make you're like, me give me cheese. the basic. Let, let me see what your foundation tastes right. like first. So that's me. All, all I like okay. is cheese pizza. So this whole thing is built so I can make a cheese pizza, damn it. Right? That's all I like is cheese. So, hey, let me have a slice of cheese, boys. So I heard you guys, were, I heard you boys were good. Let me get a slice of cheese. All right, so we made him a pizza. Wait, like he's a secret shopper. Or you know, yeah, I didn't know who he was, right? So he, he sat there and he looked at it, took a, took a bite, and he put his head down. He started shaking his head. And I said, uh-oh. I went outside. I said, sir, how was the pizza? And I looked up at him. He goes, I can't believe you did this. And he goes, I said, what do you mean? And he goes, he goes, my family made pizza like this for years. And I said, what's your name? And uh, his name was... Um, Carlo Luca. It was the son of the Lucas. No pizza. way. Yeah. So Are now he's our, yeah. Now he's our customer. So he comes over and, and has pizza with us, and he was blown away at our pizza. So was he blown away by the fact that his family inspired your whole passion? He remembered my dad. He was a young teenager at that time, but he remembered my dad. I was probably seven, six, five years old, something like that. We used to go there. But he remembered my dad and my mom, and they would go there and, like I said, sit and drink coffee and, with you know, the, Italian people smoke yeah, yeah. cigarettes in the mall. You hear some yeah. money, go play video games. <laughs> yeah. You know, just the best times of my life, man. So this is a passion. This, this project here is really out of a love memory. And, man, it's almost come full circle. Yeah, huh? and, uh, you know, now we got to put the arcade in here. So There's a risk in expand, like being too big, right? Because right. you and Joey don't have your hands on those pizza that you've taken right. 15 years to, to cultivate, right? That's right. And so that's the good, that's a good and bad, right? Like there's a good because now me as a customer, I know I'm getting a pizza from you and it's not, somebody didn't miss anything. Like it's, cause I know, I know how OCD you guys we, are. We say it like this, the lucky ones are gonna get me and Marco's pizza, everybody else it's, I feel bad for him. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Right? <laughs> you know, it's not I'm easy sorry. being me. I mean, we're going to make so many pizzas, dude. It's like the starfish. I can't help them all, but I'll help I, you if you want to. We're going to make so many pies, as many as we can make, and that's it. We're going to be done for that night. Is it, is it, so what's your, do you have like, I don't want to say an end game, because that's not right, right way of putting it, but ultimately, do you want to, do you want to grow, or do you want to find that niche? Because, because yeah, man, San we, Antonio yeah. is known for, you know, there's certain small, and I don't like to use the word mom and pop, but there's, there's, there's places that people know. Like, yeah. hey man, if you go to this city, you have to go yeah, here. That's where you go get good tacos. And it, and it, that's yeah. where you go get a good hamburger. And it's that's, always yeah. a smaller, sure. personalized, but, they're, but you're blown away by, like, right. man, this guy in Chicago knows about me. Right. You know, or New York, yeah. or, and military. So military alone can, you know, they're going to move to Tennessee and talk about Mio Marco's pizza, you know, and the guy that's coming here, TDY or, yeah. or whatever, is going to be like, oh, you've got to go by, you know, and see Derek. So the medical practice taught me some lessons. I could have a clinic packed full of people if I wanted to. Quality drops, right? So, I mean, uh, you know, how much money do I need to make? You know, it's, to me, it's, this isn't about money at all it's, it's about making the greatest pizza in the world so uh, we're gonna we're gonna do everything we can to keep the quality super high you know we have turned pe people away at times it's funny that the pizza world's treated different from a fine dining restaurant you go to a fine dining restaurant and they're booked for the night that's it they have no complaints go to a pizzeria and can't get a pizza people get really mad yeah. like, oh what do you mean i can't get a pizza like we're out, we're out we sold 400 pies tonight we're done you know you know you're like you're like franklin's up in uh you feel the Austin. same way? Yeah. Well, no, they, it's a barbecue place, right? They yeah. open at like 5 a.m. and they stay open until they're sold out. And yeah. it's usually like noon or 1 o'clock. Yeah, like if you don't get in there, but everybody knows that. That's like, if you want it, you get there at 5 yeah, o'clock, yeah. stand in line. A place that blows me away too is Valentina's in Buda. If you go to Valentina's, tacos in Buda. Oh, is that right? Is oh, that, that's their, their niche. Phenomenal, they, brother. Phenomenal. I like Franklin's. Go to Valentina's. Yeah. Okay. South Texas style barbecue is so, gr it's well, so I, good. Well, I, I wanted to, you know, personally, I wanted to 
sit down with you because I just love, like I love you personally, but yeah, I love no your, doubt. I love your you story, too. but I just, when somebody does something because they love it versus there's a monetary reward, which again, you know, you have to survive and feed your family and what have you, but you, you'll clearly make more money investing the time you invest here into your practice. Sure. If it was just oh, yeah. about that, right? Sure, sure. And so, um, but the, but that's your staple almost. Like people almost associate you more, and, that, and that's not to, to take away from your private practice because I know I, there was a time I was doing something different, and when people were, was you know asking, when people were asking me, hey, do you still do real estate? I'm like, Ooh. yeah. No, like that's my bread and butter. Like, right. yes, I am. Well, you know, so I had to be careful not to, you know, be known for this, and then they didn't think I was serious with that. I don't know if there's a lot of glamour involved in in, uh, in physical therapy. There's a lot of glamour involved in in the chef, the food world. Right. right. Yeah. I mean, you look at the cooking shows on TV, oh, yeah, and yeah, you look yeah, at, yeah. you know, everybody in in, in the pizza world, man. Uh, everybody's trying to be famous. It's hilarious. You should see these guys go at each other. It's it gets pretty cutthroat. It's pretty funny to me, you know. Um, but uh, truly, man, that it, whether it's the pizza world or whatever, I mean, it, it's funny. Joey and I truly focus on really making the best pizza on the planet. We don't. We won't cut a corner per we pizza. Won't. Yeah, I mean, we don't. It's not a. We we don't make nine hundred pies and ship them out. Not yet. I mean, that could happen. You know, if we can find a way to keep the quality Preserve right. It. Yeah. We used to use uh, DoorDash and Uber Eats and all that. We had to stop because they were delivering our pizzas upside down, delivering them cold. Deliver, you know, that's, that's not our gig, man. That's not our gig. Um, if you want a really, really good high-end steak, you go to that steakhouse and you, you go don't order it. it and you order it. You go get that thing, right? So um, we like this small home feel. We like the small feeling where it's it's intimate you go sit down and have a nice pie and a glass of wine a beer bro a most, salad most people do right you can calm down and relax here you know and uh this is that's why we chose an old house to put the pizzeria in over just a commercial property yeah man i think i hope that reflects uh, what you're fixing to eat everybody that i've ever referred here all the love people it. that I've referred love it. Oh, we get some Speak bad reviews we get bad reviews once in a while I, you know what i, I can it's, tell you this i learned this in life some people aren't happy unless they're unhappy. That's just yeah, that's a fact. We we get bad reviews like, oh, your pizza was a five out of five, but your service was horrible. I'm like, well, no, well, we're not a sit down <laughs> diner. You like, know, yeah, yeah. we do. You never know. You never know how people feel, or you know, uh, we get one at one star out of five. Your pizza was too hot; it burned my mouth. You know, we get stuff like that, bro. So. Yeah, right off the bat, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. But you know, we do our best, man. We used to cook out of a trailer to. To cook world-class pizza out of a trailer, all those are from a trailer. All those trophies, that's out of a trailer. So to cook world-class pizza out of that trailer taught us a lot. I mean, we're cooking in 120-degree weather in the oh, summer. Yeah, I remember, man. remember, man? remember oh, that. Yeah. So uh, this is like a we're riding in a Cadillac now, son. <laughs> brand You're new Lexus, now, coming, right? yeah, brand new Lexus, and we our pizzas come out better because we have more control in the environment. The science of it's much easier now. Oh, the whole yeah, everything's yeah. You know, climate <clears throat> controlled. It's, uh, temperature control. So. It's more of an exact science. Yeah. So we can be so, more consistent. Yeah. Are you? Are you? Can we? Can we? Can we follow you through that process from when you pull it, that fermented you yeah. know, dough out of the oven till it goes? Well, you, we have them in trays now, but we can show you a tray what a fermented dough looks like. You can smell it. You can't smell it through the camera, but you can smell what a dough a real fermented can bread. It. You can. Yeah, I can sell it through the camera. <laughs> But you can smell what a real fermented dough should smell like, and then we'll bake it for you. We'll make it a pizza. We'll stretch it and we'll make it for you and see what we do. Let's go. It looks Good. easy. We'll let you try it. So you know at these world championships, there's different categories, right? Right. I wanted to say like what what like a pizza is a pizza is pizza like for an average person, but for you, like what differentiates each category? There's a whole lot of different styles of pizza. You have pan pizzas. You have uh, like a Detroit style pizza, you have Roman style pizza, you have Neapolitan pizza, the classic Italian way cooked in a wood brick oven. Um, so is it the way it's cooked or is it the dough? Is it all the of that. thickness? Thinness all of it. Of it? All really? that. The way it's cooked, the dough, the thickness, what you cook it in, how it's handled, all of that stuff makes a difference. So, so when you, 
when you do the world championship, they have categories. Categories, okay. Right. And you've you've won in several different categories. Right. So you're not just like a one trick pony, so to speak. That's what they tell me. <laughs> yeah. They say, yeah, well, that's good. That's what right? they say. But yeah, I wanted because I wanted to challenge myself. But once we won traditional, like what we do is traditional style New York pizza. Once I won that, I don't want to go win that again. I want to I want to challenge myself. And um, so uh, I was working on a pizza called a Roman style pizza. It's like a focaccia. It's like a, a it's, okay. it's delicious. It's like a croissant, really, that you make a pizza on. It's phenomenal, right? Um, and uh, I was already working on this pizza. And then I went to a school and learned a little bit more about the style of pizza that they make. And then I want to go and get in that competition because it is the hardest to win. That Roman, Italy sent their best teams apparently to win this competition. Some of their best pizza chefs were in this competition in the world. And I go in and smoke them, bro. We smoke. Oh, them. you did? Oh, we beat them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And man, they were Italians are not happy when a dude named Sanchez from <laughs> San Antonio wins. They're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's rigged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's rigged, right? Home court advantage. Yeah. <laughs> so, but um, that that was fun. I mean, it's to me, it was it's all of that's fun. Uh, but truly, man, to me, it's about that, about the pizza, man, about making the greatest pizza in the world. Hey. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks for taking the time out. Yeah, I know, of course, you know, dude. Busy in your schedule. Yeah, sorry I came late. So. I, had a, I had a patient show up late. So. No, nah, no. Nah, hey, hey, this was great. I got paid bills. Joey, Joey clued me in on everything. Cool. Thank you, man. Thank yeah. you all for coming out. Let's eat. Okay. It's a moment of truth. Yeah. Although I already know the answers to Vegan. the test. We made you a vegan pizza, right? So Derek made me a vegan pizza. This is... Spinach, um, I had the option of, of uh, vegan cheese, but I didn't want that. Right. So it's, it's just basically a pizza without the cheese. Red sauce. It's like a, a, a supreme without the cheese or meat. You got it. Now right. I get mine. Let's see what you got. I guess and I'll try it with you. And my roasted red peppers. There you go. I'll try it with you. Don't take too much because I want to... I know. You know what? I'll let you, I'll let you have it. One bite, everybody knows the fools. Hmm. You put something different on this. What'd you put on this after? Um, I just put some garlic sauce. A little bit of roasted garlic sauce. Good stuff. Perfect. Hey, Mio Marco's Pizza. Come get you some. If you guys are tired of looking for a pizza, great pizza around San Antonio, we got your spot. Mio Marco's Pizza right here in Selma, Texas, Northeast San Antonio. Come see us. Best pizza in the world. Mm -hmm.